Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and today I have a customer complaint that when he turns on his car, all the lights start flickering. Um, it's going to be the lights up here, the instrument cluster, all the lights start flickering. So I'm going to show you a little quick test on how to test this out. Uh, I'm using my multi, uh, my lab scope. If you have multimeter that has min max, that can uh, work as well. So let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so have you ever got into your vehicle? Looked at your lights, turned them on. And they start flickering. Well, let's get to it. I'm gonna show you what to do and how to hook up your multimeter to your alternator to, so you can see the AC voltage. All right, so we have our vehicle turned on and what we're going to need, I got my positive, this is going to be the yellow one, and then my negative, which is going to be the black one. So what we have to do is hook up our black one to ground and our positive is going to go to positive B post in the back of the alternator. And because this alternator produces AC voltage, so we're trying to convert it to DC, we want to make sure that the AC voltage is at a minimum. There's no AC voltage at all. So right now we have our multimeter hooked up. And I'll have it on the AC and we do not want to see that. That's a bad ripple right there. So we're from positive, uh, positive one volt to around negative one volt right there. So. It's, a difference of two volts of ripple and once we start getting that little ripple that's where we're gonna get it to start flickering so what we're gonna do we're gonna switch this out and then retest it out and you're gonna see the difference on it all right so we replaced our alternator so we have a brand new alternator and it has a AC Delco performance alternator and as well when I do my alternator jobs I recommend just changing out the belt so we got our gates belt on there so everything's ready to go and now we're gonna go back in there, turn on the vehicle, and we're gonna see if we have any AC ripples. Like, okay, so we're ready to see if we have any more things. So I'm gonna turn the key on. All right, so now we're gonna look inside, see if the lights flicker anymore. No more flickering and no more AC ripples. So right here what we're looking at is barely any unit whatsoever compared to what we had before. So there you go. We're gonna test it out even more, but like I said, back then it would flicker, not anymore. Alright, so if you do like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And just remember, when subscribing to the channel, please hit this bell right here to get all the recent notifications for my new videos when they come up. It's pretty easy. Just hit the bell. After that, click on Semi-Auto Notifications, save, and you're good to go.